Level 290. Survival Difficulty Class 0. Safe, Secure, Devoid of Entities. Description. Level 290 takes the appearance of an infinite movie theater. Different parts of level 290 display a variety of architectural styles and exclusively contain rooms and hallways that would be found in movie theaters. The layout of the level is much more complex than a normal front room theater with hallways abruptly stopping and doors that are right next to each other leading to wildly different parts of the level. The projectors and concession counters always seem to be in working condition despite the fact that there are no entities on the level to maintain them. Popcorn and other snacks can often be found scattered on the floor, especially in the auditoriums. It is unknown if these are from past wanderers or if they're a natural feature of the level. Films play in the auditoriums at all times, and examinations of the projector booths show that they seem to be all playing on the continuous rails which never run out of films. The most notable aspect of level 219 is the films that are shown are often similar to existing films, but with distinct differences. Bases, Outposts, and Communities no formal bases or outposts can be found within the level. However, a wanderer named Greggy McKinnon has made the level his home and spends much of his time watching films in the level. He is amicable and will often help wanderers find exits to the level. Entrances and Exits Entrances Metal doors can be found in level 68 which will lead here. The standard exits found in level 177 will occasionally lead here. Exits Red doors found in this level will lead to level 74. Walking through a movie screen when it's playing an episode of the show associated with level 104 will lead to that level. Occasionally, doors found in the projected booths of this level will lead to level 142. Selected Film Log This is a selected log of films that have been seen playing in the various auditoriums of level 290. Most of these have been compiled by Gregory McKinnon. An extended log of films can be found here. Title: Sleep, 1964 Original Summary a five-hour experimental film in which a man, played by John Giorno, is filmed sleeping from different angles. Many sections of the film are looped or used more than once. Notable changes. During the third hour of the film, Giorno wakes up and leaves his shot. The film continues on as normal after this, only showing an empty bed. Title? M. 1941. Original Summary a black and white thriller which centers around attempts to find and capture serial killer Hans Beckert, played by Peter Lorre. Notable changes. This film is exactly the same until the 16 minute mark when Beckert whistles in the Hall of the Mountain King by Edward Grieg as seen as the original film. He is then chased down by a number of skeletal creatures and is ultimately killed. The rest of the film features the exact same shot, except the event of the film focuses on uncovering the truth of who killed Hans Beckert instead. This search is ultimately unsuccessful and the film abruptly ends at the 111 minute mark with no clear conclusion. Title? Blood for Dracula, 1974. Original Summary A low-budget horror movie in which Count Dracula, played by Udo Kier, needs to drink virgin blood in order to survive. He is forced to move to Italy due to the lack of virgins in his home country. He moves into the estate of the De Fior family with the intention of drinking the blood of their four daughters. Two of the daughters are more promiscuous than they let on, and he is weakened by their tainted blood. Dracula is eventually exposed as a vampire and is membered by the estate's handyman. Notable Changes this film is the same until Dracula's arrival in Italy. In this version, it is applied that the estate's handyman, Mario, who goes to lead the Marxist revolution that he expressed desire for in the original film rather than working at the estate. Because of this, the foreign daughters remain as virgins and Dracula is able to drink their blood with ease. The rest of the film shows a very similar plot to the 1931 film, Dracula, with the Count being hunted down by various townsfolk, ending in a standoff between him and Van Helsing leading to the death of Dracula. Title? Unknown. Original summary? Not applicable. The 17-minute film appears to be a home video shot on low-quality tape which features a young child opening Christmas presents. The child opens the first box only to find it full of coal and bursts into tears. The rest of the film consists of the parents consoling the child. Title: Flying Saucers Over Hollywood, 1992 Original summary a documentary about the 1957 alien invasion film, Plan 9 from Outer Space, as it details the life of director Ed Wood and the lasting cultural impact of the film. Notable changes. The film features many similar interviews, except everyone involved acts as if Plan 9 from Outer Space itself was a documentary about a real alien invasion. The film goes into detail about how Ed Wood was able to avoid notice of the film's various characters, while capturing the footage, including elaborate descriptions of hiding places in improvised camouflage suits. Notably absent from the film are interviews with Femme Kiria, one of the film's stars, as she is said to have died in the 1956 and temporarily resurrected as depicted in the film. Title: 
Unknown. Original summary? The original plot of this episode is unknown, but the general plot of the TV follows that of an episodic sitcom starring facings and leaning into the many common cliches associated with such shows. Notable changes. Although all the dialogue for this episode was reported to be unnatural guttural sounds produced by the facing actors, the viewer reportedly was able to instinctively understand the plot of the episode through an unknown mechanism. The episode opened with its signature blank title screen and instrumental theme song and then transitioning into the first scene. The rest of the episode follows two young facelings as they go searching for a rare cryptid known as the Baby Train. After a number of gags where they believe themselves to have found the aforementioned Baby Train only for it to be revealed that it was only a neighborhood cat or a normal train, they give up to go home, declaring the Baby Train to only be a myth. The last shot zooms in on the background to show a small train with a human baby's face on it driving around just outside of their view. Title: Party Rock Anthem 2011 Original Summary A six-minute music video created by American pop duo LMFAO, which shows a dystopian future where everyone had been infected by their single, Party Rock Anthem, in the months following its release. These people behave like dancing zombies and spend all day shuffling to the song. The duo then has to play along to avoid the horde infecting them. They ultimately succumb to the party rock. Notable changes. This version is 103 minutes long and takes place in the time when members of LMFAO were said to be in a party rock and lose coma. It follows a completely different cast of characters as they try to stay safe from the zombie-like party rocker invasion. The film ends in a standoff as the two main characters, played by John Malkovich and Jamie Lee Curtis, attempt to fight off a horde of party rockers using various handmade weapons. They ultimately succumb to the party rock, and the film cuts to the credits.